And then, you know, I realized, you know, I did start realizing that some people didn't do well with iodine and sometimes it, it could be a potential trigger. And, uh, and again, it could be, um, not obvious until you look at the antibodies and you see the antibodies shooting up. But then there are some cases, I mean, I remember, and thankfully this person wasn't my patient, not that it made me feel any better, but uh, I remember a person emailing me and just like saying, just like she randomly took iodine and it really like flared up her thyroid eye disease, um, like symptoms. And, you know, just, I would have felt really bad if it was my, like, if I recommended that to a right. patient and they did it based on my recommendations, I still felt bad for this person. Um, but you know, yeah, I mean, I've, I have seen people get worse with iodine. Yeah. And, I, I have Hashimoto's and yeah. my TSH was like around seven and it went up to nine. So I thought, let me try this high dose iodine. And I took the 12 and a half milligrams and it shot mm -hmm. up to 25. 